Hello, hello YouTube world. The one, the only Jesse B just came out with this song, Something Different. And this girl definitely has something different to bring to the country rap genre and to females in this industry as well. She is at something different and I'm really excited to just continue watching her thrive. Um, if you haven't, you need to go to her page and watch how she surprised her number one fan. Like, this just shows who she is as a person. And it's something to look up to, and it is something that just melted my heart watching the whole thing. And it wasn't, wasn't for views, it wasn't for any of that. She was just going and hanging out with people that love her music. And then in return, she's going and showing these people love. And it's, you know, it's just really cool to see that. So, um, pretty sure she has a whole new album, I think. Uh, and I also know I'm a couple weeks behind. I went MIA for a minute, but I'm back. Just... Life shit happens, and but it, what's important is that I'm back and I'm ready to go. And this is Jesse B. Something different, and believe me, we really all could use a little something different. Let the court docket show the time is 11 11 a.m. on June 30th, 2023. As previously stated by law enforcement, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to seek counsel. Ms. Boyle, do you wish to proceed? Yeah. It's a cool I'm currently sitting here with the defendant, Ms. Jessica Boyles, representing Mainstream in the case of Mainstream versus Boyles. The defendant has made it clear that she at this time wishes to proceed with a full confession. So let's cut to the chase, Ms. Boyles. The question everyone wants answered. Why did you commit the crime in which you were being charged for? Well, that's just it. That's what everybody wants to know. Thank you for asking me why. Why, why, why in a million different ways it all boils down to why. How could you commit such a heinous crime? And I think the real question that they should be asking me is why me? How come somebody didn't do it before me? Because it was waiting for her. I guess the simple answer to that would be because I wanted to do something different. <laughs> shirt. I really do. It kind of looks like one of my racing shirts. Uh, going to the drag races, the, or the, oh gosh, what is it? It's not the good guys, because that's a car show, but it's another, like, funny car crew or whatever. Uh, I love that she's wearing that shirt. I want one. <laughs> everybody does they're just rapping about the same topics but not there's a difference between just rapping about a topic or or a song versus like what they're feeling and like putting that artistic twist into not just a relationship song you know there's the thousand same relationship songs but then there's the artists that really tune into what's going on with their lives and 
turn it into something that we can all relate to. And that was just an example, but that's shit that she's done and only a select few have done. Um, yeah, let's keep going. I got do something fucking different. I heard from a friend of a friend that the wet game need a new queen in the south. I ain't gonna say I'm the best, but damn it, who else gonna clean this here crown? Who's gonna step to the plate? Cause I ain't gonna sit here and wait for somebody to get it together. Right saying I'm better, but I don't do this shit for clout. Don't do it for clout. I started rapping my closet, paid with my direct deposit. I bought a mic and a Mac that I spent on the track, and I still ain't in this for the profit. I'm in my zone, I'm in my element. Fucked up the game, cause y'all like to celebrate. Y'all like in country and shitty at selling it. I'm dropping singles just for the hell of it. Fuck all your equity, I got integrity. I Best line right there. It's not about the equity, because I have integrity. Yes. And that's the difference of a lot of things, but I love that. I love that. Well, I just want to go back just a smidge. Need a new queen at the south. I ain't gonna say I'm the best, but damn it, who else gonna clean this here crown? Who's gonna step to the plate? Cause I ain't gonna sit here and wait for somebody to get it together. Right saying I'm better, but I don't do this shit for clout. Don't do it for clout. I started rapping my closet, paid with my direct deposit. I bought a mic and a Mac that I spit on the track, and I still ain't in this for the profit. I'm in my zone, I'm in my element. Fucked up the game, cause y'all acting celibate. Y'all acting country and shitty at selling it. I'm dropping singles just for the hell of it. Fuck all your equity, I got integrity, I got a bold reputation. Guess there's no one to look up to, so I gotta act as my own motivation. Somebody tell me how many artists gon' fall off the tracks from being too focused on counting their stacks. How many disses is it gonna take for all of these? to clean up the act. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a lot right there. But it's the fucking truth. <clears throat> Excuse my language. Yeah, I got a bold reputation. Guess there's no one to look up to, so I gotta act as my own motivation. So I love that. No one to look up to, so I act as my own motivation. And... I've never thought of it like that. I really haven't. But that's... Hmm. Somebody tell me how many artists gon' fall off the tracks From being too focused on counting they stacks How many disses is it gonna take For all of these rappers to clean up they act? I'm just rapping for the girls like me Cause from what... I see, ain't nobody impressed. You can go further with less and still remain completely dressed. Can't stress this enough. I wrote... She's gonna make me fucking tear up right now, and I know this is supposed to be a serious rap song, but I'm about to tear up. Because, oh my god. Anybody with daughters out there, they need to be listening to this shit right here, and just listen to it on repeat. Over and over. All it take for all of these rappers to clean up the act. I'm just rapping for the girls like me, cause from what I see, ain't nobody impressed. You can go further with less and still remain completely dressed. Can't stress this enough. I write my lyrics myself. I could go hard in a cipher. I ain't no Nicolas Cage. I do not need a ghost rider. <laughs> Rappers wacky crap, I just can't see how a track is slap and still be crap. These rappers cap the fact that four I'm 23. I got big names talk about my shit now. I make all your fake fuckers wanna quit now. Feel bad, but it is what it is now. You let a chick contradict how you speak now. Well, let me hush before I get. Ooh, getting a little. Ooh, I like that. Let's play that back a little bit. I turned it down because some of the, you know, when it transitioned, it gets like really loud. 23. I got big names talk about my shit now. I make all your fake fuckers when I quit now. Make <laughs> big names recognizing me now, and I make wanna wanna make all the fakes quit now. Feel bad, 
that, but it is what it is now. You let that chick cut your dick, how you stop now? Well, let me hush before I get to saying something. How you rap, but you ain't even saying nothing. From a bitch, a bitch, and fuck a fuck. How you take a bitch and hit that fucking dump? Everybody gather round, gather round, let me up another round. When I finna spit, finna give me that's on the crowd. Queen of this rap shit, full metal jacket. Strap with the trap, I don't cap, I attack it. Boom, she go bop, bop, buckle, bunny, hop, hop. Finna see a swap at the top when I pop off. Y'all don't get it, I'ma get it done. Finna get him better with no gun. Mama Ria, I'm so Ronnie Dunn with mud crickets representing us. Yes. And I hustle, I flex like a muscle. Go get me a shovel, I'm killing careers. I live what I'm rapping, they live for the caption. That constantly yapping is killing my ears. I'm shattering stereotypes, they shaking my ass for the views and the likes. A rebuke on the mic, I don't stoop to the hype. You're so full of shit, I think you need no right. So get off your high horse if you're riding ponies. Might get the bread, but you're full of baloney. If you're forcing a fake, then at least. You might be getting that bread, but you're full of baloney. Fucking A. This thing is just full of just bar after bar after bar. It's gonna be a 30 minute video. Jesus. I'm a hustle, I flex like a muscle. Go get me a shovel, I'm killing careers. I live what I'm rapping, they live for the caption. I live what I'm rapping, and isn't that what I said earlier? I think so. I talked about that, you know. That's why she's gonna go to the top. That right there. She's authentic, she's real, she's different. And that's what we need. And just like she said, not shaking your ass for, you know, clicks and all that stuff. And, I mean, I know that as my daughter gets older, she's going to be listening to this shit on repeat. And I'm going to make her, make her repeat the lyrics to me to make sure that she's fully understanding and catching everything. And that constantly yapping is killing my ears I'm shattering stereotypes Ain't shaking my ass for the views and the likes And rebuke on the mic, I don't stoop to the hype You're so full of shit, I think you need no right So get off your high horse if you riding ponies Might get the bread, but you're full of baloney If you're forcing a fake, then at least be consistent But me and my kind finna do something different yeah. And she's only 23. Wow. She keeps going the way that she's going. What? A couple years from now, maybe? I mean, she's just going to keep climbing. And I can't say enough about this song. Like, you know, the integrity and, you know, doing something different. And I think... Um, it is a really big breath of fresh air to see somebody like Jesse B with these kinds of topics um, coming out and and really getting the recognition. I mean, I know it's she's still completely underrated, but there are more and more people catching on. I know for me, I blast her name everywhere to everybody. In fact, I did that to my sister today. <laughs> Um, so she's going to keep growing and she's going to keep doing great. And I just, I don't, I love Jessie B just not for her bars, but for who she is. And she literally was doing an interview and trying to fish at the same time. And they were struggling with service, but that's because that's who she is. You know, she is. It's a strong value, it's a, it is a, it's a big deal to her to make the point that she doesn't have to shake her ass and be naked to fucking get somewhere in life. And for the girls that do that, I'm not trying to diss on you, but I'm just trying to say the girls that don't, don't have to. And that's what she's saying, and that's why I fucking love her, and that's, I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> Damn it, she does that to me. But thank you, Jesse B, for coming out with a great song. Everybody, all the links are below. And, I mean, even my son. I'm going to have my son listen to this because 
I want him to under, understand both sides too. And I think she's going to be a big part of the change um, of the country rap genre. And she's going to be the, you know, the one that has the Christmas lights on year round. You know, with the curlers in her hair and all that with the kid hanging out. Like, she's going to be living what she's producing. And that's why people love her. That's why I love her. Much love, Jesse B. Much love, YouTube. I'm out. Be safe. And again, much love, everybody.